Competitive Eschatology, Splinters, the Tactical Theology Division Subseries, KTE 5634, Ex Machina Bosch, Part 1. Image, the Ojos del Salado Eruption. Threat Entity Database Entry. Threat ID. KTE-3528, Black, son of Mushpelheim. Authorized response level. Five. Immediate threat. Description. A humanoid entity with volcanic rock-like skin three through four meters in height, currently leading an army of approximately 200,000 similar humanoids. Eyewitness reports confirm 3528 Black and its forces emerged from the Ojos del Salado stratovolcano in the Andes and have been steadily marching north. Volcanic eruptions have emerged along their path, causing heavy civilian casualties. Sequence P23-86 T 1228 D November 03 the Latin chapter of the Knights Templar. Hope to God this thing's still working. Archos erupted about six hours ago, and things have been steadily getting more fucked ever since. The lava streams, or whatever they're called, wiped out most of the population on the Chilean side, so we're looking at tens of thousands of fatalities already, which will get worse with the volcanic winter, assuming we make it that far. I've got no idea how things are on the Argentine side, but it's probably the same. And to top it all off, we have an army of fire yet and marching north to deal with, along with all the other godly shit running loose in Latin America. Anyone out there? The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn is currently disconnected. The Ordo Templi Orientis is currently disconnected. The World Parahealth Organization is currently disconnected. Well, fuck. The International Center for the Study of Unified Thaumatology. Oh, thank God, this thing's still working. All our other communications have been swamped. What's your status, Katie? Not good. We have a few days at best before our backup generators fail. And that's if we don't starve to death first. Russians are running dangerously low. What happened to you guys? I thought Arthur and Fion were keeping things straight. They were, but even heroes can't do anything against a tidal wave. It's KTE-2297. I'll send you what we have. KTE-2297, Setos. The Serpent. A massive aquatic serpentine entity stretching across most of Greenland in deep hibernation. The skin of the entity secretes a potent toxin that causes death in minutes. 2297 Setters has been known to coalition agents for decades, but has recently awoken and is swimming southwest, causing heavy devastation. Estimated Fatalities Ireland 250,000 Norway, 130,000. Iceland, unknown. Greenland, unknown. We've got no communications coming in from Greenland or Iceland, but considering they would have been almost right above 2297 set us when the waves started forming. It's not looking good. We need to activate Pizzicato. UN High Command is currently disconnected. Oh, Father, save us. The United Church of Satan, Scientist. I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon, considering the multiple eschatologies. Holy hell, UCS is still up and running. How's the situation there? Well, it's not exactly ideal. It looks like 2297 Kapala has sprung up. KTE 2297 Kapala, Ship of the Dead. A Viking longship composed of millions of individual human nails, about 860 meters in length, 
2297 Kapala gradually built itself up over the course of centuries, with the first reports of it being from the late 1300s, when the entity was only half its current size. Tsunamis caused by 2297 Setters have dislodged the ship, which is traveling southwest in the Serpent's Wake. What's your organization's status? Able to respond to the threat entity? If this was any other day, sure, but KTE-3043 Green's Little Apocalypse has been tying up most of our resources. Maybe if we... Wait, hold on. Is anyone else getting a message? End of sequence P23-86. Memorandum to the Council of 108. Special Observer, Cynthia Foom. Overview. The three roosters have crowed. Hell's blood-stained guardian roams free. The great serpent Yormonganda has awoken, and in his wake sails the ship of the damned. Surtur and his Yotna host march forth from Mushpelheim and Hrim from the east. Ragnarok has come, the age of the wolf, when the sun will turn black for all the years to come. Yggdrasil shall shudder and groan, and no man will have mercy on another. But it does not need to be the end. Lady Frigg has sent a message, passed down from the Allfather to every man and woman of honor, to meet them on the field of Urshkirpnir at Peli Island. This is where the fate of all nine worlds will be decided. The Global Occult Coalition must stand ready to defend humanity against all foes.